Basically, it's, it started um, almost seven years ago. I, I came into the church April 19th, 2000, uh, 2003. And about two years later, I was asked to go out on the street corners and, and pass out Bibles uh, as an evangelization effort to try to get people to, to come into the church and to, to enjoy Sunday, uh, Sunday Mass at our parish in St. Louis. And so I started going out on the street corners, passing out Bibles, and these were uh, very rough street corners. Um, they're not just the, the nice corners. I was ministering to dope dealers, to gangsters, gangbangers, uh, prostitutes, and, and a lot of people like that out there. And so I thought as a new convert, uh, I'm going to go out and convert the entire world to Catholicism. I'm going to be the next St. Anthony of Padua. I'm going to be the next St. Alphonsus Liguori. Uh, you guys are going to call me St. Richard of Detroit. Um, <laughs> I'm going to convert everyone. And so when I got there, uh, I realized that there were so many more people that were blessing me than I was them. They actually, uh, I saw the face of Christ in so many of the poor, the needy, and the suffering. Uh, and those are the blessings that I got. I love my Baptist brothers and sisters, our ecclesial brothers and sisters, as I like to call them, because they understand about the relationship with Jesus. Yes, they understand there's power in the blood, the blood of Jesus. Right. If there's an issue, you've got to, to bathe yourself in the blood of Jesus. They understand that you have to have a close, personal, intimate relationship with Christ. And so that's one thing that I try to integrate into my speaking engagements and my preaching as a Catholic evangelist into the parish missions is I was listening to a wonderful Catholic radio show on, on um, I'm not going to say which one it was on, on uh, satellite radio, but it was a great show. And they were talking about encountering Christ, encountering Christ. We have to encounter Christ in the Eucharist. We have to encounter Christ in everyday life. It was a wonderful show, but it lasted 30 minutes. And they kept talking about encountering Christ through different things, Crisio, Acts, Chirp, whatever. But then they ended the show and I was upset. And I said, that's the main issue with a lot of Catholics. We stop at the encounter. This is an intimate relationship with us within the Eucharist, within the Blessed Sacrament, because the Eucharist is the source and summit of our entire existence. And if you look back at the Old Testament, God called Moses his intimate friend. And then you combine that with John 3, 16, God so loved the world that he gave and so our response back to God is what do we give back to him? We are to give ourselves totally, completely, and everything that we have back to him in that intimate relationship. We can be in the presence of God and let him transform our lives instead of allowing the world to transform our lives to it. God wants to change us. We are not to conform ourselves to the world, but conform ourselves to what God wants to be. I'm just a slave for Jesus Christ. And all I do is just try to kiss his feet every single day and stay as close to him as I can. I'm a sinful person, but like the Bible says, he who that is within me is greater than he who is within the world. Mm -hmm. And so as long as we continue to stay rooted in the sacraments, stay in the confessional, stay rooted in the sacraments, and continue to pray and be in communion with God and enter into that divine relationship. He will continue to fill us. And then we'll all be called to do, as St. Catherine of, of Siena once said, if you are who you're called to be, you'll go out and set the world ablaze. And so once we have that fire in us, we can't help but spread it.